Now, more breaking news an out of control driver triggers an awful crash near a taco stand, killing a young girl. Police say the speeding driver slammed into the girl and her family. It happened on South Marietta Street in Boyle Heights. CBS 2's Tom Waite is there live with the details. Tom? And Rick and Pat, I just got some new information a short time ago. Police sources here on the scene are telling us that it's possible the driver of the Mustang that caused this huge tragic accident may have had a nitrous tank in his Mustang, which could have given him a huge boost of speed. Take a live look. You can see here at the scene, police still here gathering evidence, gathering clues, trying to piece this all together, how this could have happened. Police say the driver of this mangled Mustang caused a chain reaction crash, killing an 11 year old girl and sending three others, including a 15 month old baby, to the hospital. Investigators say there were a number of people at the taco stand when the 21 year old driver came blazing down Whittier Boulevard and launched his car airborne into two parked cars, which hit the family members. As a mother myself, my heart goes out to the entire family and on behalf of. Uh, the LAPD in Hollenbeck area, they can rest assured that we're going to come together. It's not clear if this was a case of street racing or just an innocent accident or possibly something else. Police say the driver stayed on scene, but a witness who works at the taco stand says it was other Good Samaritans who kept the man at the scene. Police detained him and possibly a passenger for questioning. And that 15 month old baby is going to be just fine. We're told that baby was taken for observation. As for the driver, we don't know if he's facing any charges at this point. We do know that he is detained at this point. Reporting live in Boyle Heights, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio. All right, Tom.